KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Another extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, September 11th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather looking kind of hot and kind of dry for a while with only isolated showers. Got a few today on the eastern side of the state. Of course, the big story, the tropics. We could talk all day about that. Let's do it. There's the upper air look across North America this afternoon. The mid-latitude westerlies near the Canadian border. Got ridging building in here. There's a visible satellite view. Got a field of cumulus clouds across the state, but uh, generally a partly sunny day. The bulk of the shower is in East Alabama, around Anniston, Oxford, East of Boga, down to Munford, uh, just uh, west of Cheehaw State Park, down into Clay County. Those are not moving much, and they will dissipate once the sun goes down later this evening. And again, in coming days, any showers will probably be few and far between. There's the watch warning map, relatively quiet around the nation. Those are red flag warnings for the counties out west for uh, the wildfire danger. There's the severe weather to look for today, tomorrow, and Thursday. And notice on Thursday, a marginal risk around the middle Atlantic coast as Florence approaches. Here's a QPF chart, rain for the next seven days. Got some uh, areas of interest here. First off, uh, Invest 95L. Uh, what should be a tropical depression, maybe a tropical storm, will be coming up, and that will be uh, producing some pretty good rains for the Texas Gulf Coast. That'll be the main impact there, the chance of uh, heavy rain in a few days. Obviously, with Florence, big rains. I mean big rains uh, in the middle Atlantic coast region, especially parts of North Carolina and Virginia. And again, around here, not much. Uh, this is the rain through Tuesday morning of next week, and this is suggesting... Rain amounts generally under a tenth of an inch for the northern half of the state with maybe up to one half or one inch down to the south. All right, tropical fans, here we go. Take your pick. Uh, we've got, of course, our tropical trio, Florence, Isaac, Helene, and uh, we'll start with that uh, Invest 95L that's coming up into the southern gulf. The uh, National Hurricane Center now showing that with a high chance of becoming a tropical depression or a storm. In coming days, if it becomes a storm, the name will be Joyce. And uh, most of the models are not identifying that yet. The ones that do, uh, most of them bring it into Texas. Just forget the clipper. That's a, a statistical model. But we do believe it's headed toward the Texas coast, mainly a big mass of rain. Uh, some of the uh, uh, intensity guidance, uh, you can see that some of them do ramp this up to tropical storm Joyce. We'll keep an eye on that. But again, we don't expect it to be a hurricane just a big rainmaker for the uh, Texas coastal plain. We'll go out east. This is Hurricane Helene. That thing is turning north, and that is no threat to land. Let's go out to Isaac in the Atlantic, a tropical storm, wind 70 miles an hour, be coming across the Leeward Islands uh, Thursday, and then coming out across the Caribbean, most likely for the bulk of the duration of its life, at least for the next five days, is a tropical storm. This is the uh, tropical models. Uh, most of them keep it south of Hispaniola. Some try and bend it north. And we'll go to the uh, European Ensemble. And again, you can see kind of a split camp. Some of the members bring it north. Some keep it going west towards Central America. Uh, and really, just one wants to bring it up into the Gulf. We'll keep an eye on that. But for now, it's a long way out there. And its ultimate destination not known. Intensity guidance for Isaac. Most models keep this as a tropical storm for the next five days. But this is the big old mama here. This is Florence looking pretty good on the satellite presentation. Top winds 130 miles an hour. Uh, moving towards the uh, west-northwest at 17. Here's the new track from the National Hurricane Center. Not much change. Uh, although, uh, I will say they are now bringing this in slower. Uh, they have slowed down the forward progress. They bring it in Friday morning now, a little north of Cape Fear. As a major hurricane, a Category 3 now is the forecast at the time of landfall. And again, we have to be real careful with, you know, these 3s, 4s, 5s, 2s, uh, whatever. This is going to be a very high-impact event. Uh, and then it weakens in Sunday morning. It's still sitting over North Carolina with potential for tremendous amounts of rain. Tropical storm force winds could reach the uh, Carolina coast uh, Thursday morning even though they've slowed down the forward progression of this thing. We've got a hurricane watch and a storm surge watch for uh, the coast of the Carolinas. 
And this is the uh, rain prediction from WPC, the bullseye. It's over 20 inches uh, on the coast of North Carolina. And again, uh, I think some folks will easily see two feet here. And freshwater inland flooding is a big, big concern with this. Let's take a look at the GFS, see how it handles it. This, handles it. this is the 12Z run ballot tomorrow at noon. Nice cool trough in the northwest, ridging here. And again, there could be a few scattered showers around here tomorrow, but we think they'll be very widely spaced. And the better chance, like today, east and south of Birmingham, and you can see Florence. Let's go to Thursday. This is Thursday at midday, and uh, the GFS is pretty progressive. Now, remember, the Hurricane Center has slowed this thing down, suggesting landfall might hold off until Friday morning. The GFS on this run is still kind of suggesting Thursday night. Uh, and again, the pressures are not as low as they have been in recent runs. They've got this at 944 millibars. And then Friday, it's in, uh, but very, very a, s a slow mover. It's kind of sitting on the border of North and South Carolina. Of course, keep in mind, the worst impact will be along and north of the landfall point. That's the onshore flow side. And again, tremendous amounts of rain are falling here. We'll go to Saturday. It's just not moving. And again, big, big rain continues across Virginia and North Carolina. And for us, we'll just mention it, it looks pretty dry here. I mean, any shower is very hard to find. The weather here should be mostly sunny with only a slight chance of a shower uh, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we'll go to Sunday. And the GFS tries to bring the remnant low into Kentucky. And again, I honestly think that won't affect us. We'll stay dry. And then we'll go to Monday. It's over Ohio and kind of kicking out. And this is Tuesday of next week. Still an upper ridge down here. If you're looking for a good blast of cool air, not going to happen with that pattern. And down below that, again, kind of hot and kind of dry. We'll see highs up around 90 really each day through early next week. Let's go out there 10 days. This is Friday of next week, the 21st. Same deal. Got the ridge. Trust me, it'll go away, but this is the deep south. Sometimes it takes time. And again, that looks awfully quiet. Our weather here is looking pretty dry for a while. We hope we're not getting into a longer-term dry spell. Thought we checked the uh, QPF coming off the GFS. This is just the raw QPF off the model. Uh, and this is out 10 days. And again, obviously, the big numbers are on the uh, coast of North Carolina with a max of 34.4 inches. And that is very doable in a situation like this. So needless to say, flooding is a great concern with Florence. Numbers, yeah. Uh, seeing a lot of low 90s through the middle of next week. And then... Out there toward the end of the month, highs come down toward 80, lows come down toward 60, and that's typically when we start to see the first good push of cool air in here for the fall. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.